1967. And after thousands of years of wars, undrinkable water, and silly cartoon shows, humans have decided to leave Earth and move everyone and everything to a new... Move everyone and everything to a new planet. During the last days of planet... During the last days of the move, all the world's animals were loaded onto giant space arcs. All of the world's animals were loaded into giant space arcs. The largest of these was the Dog Star. The last dog aboard was called... The largest of these was the Dog Star. The last dog aboard was called Hobart, who, with one simple act, was to change the course of history. New Earth was nice enough with its brief lost to humanity. New Earth was nice enough with its breathable air and off-street parking, but without the dogs, it just wasn't the same. Breathable air, soft drink oceans and off-street parking, but without the dogs, it just wasn't the same. The robot, the fully automated canine simulation unit built by the e Enter the Robog, the fully automated canine simulation unit invented by evil Bob Santino. <laughs> That's how evil he By the evil Bob Santino. <laughs> That's how evil he is. Soon everyone on New Earth had a robot. However, they simply weren't as much fun as real dogs. For a while, it seemed as if everyone's prayers were answered. But it still wasn't the same. Are you sure? Simone? The communications officer is Simone Clark. She's smart, but she has trouble making up her mind. The navigator is Lincoln Clark. He is five, and his IQ is 12 billion. The first word he ever spoke was photosynthesis. And that's why the Clark kids and grandma is Lincoln. Spell percutaneous nephrolithotripsy. Percutaneous nephrolithotripsy. P E. I always had trouble with this one. A N E O U S N E P H R O L I T H O T R I P S Y. This is Boomba, the genetically modified mutant cat. He's very valuable because he can sniff out dogs at a distance of five light years. But only if he feels like it. That's why the Clark kids and Grandma decide to borrow mum and dad's starship, the Valiant, to find their dog Hobart and to bring back the missing dog star. Glenn, this is crazy. Oh, seeing Hobart. Oh, but suppose we explode. Mind you. The captain of the mission is Glenn Clark. He's brave, he's 11, and he's about to hit his head. The communications officer is Simone Clark. She's smart and can swear in 200 alien languages. I'll make that 201. The navigator is Gemma Clark. She's an alien. But you'd never pick it. The science officer is Lincoln Clark. He is six, and his IQ is twelve. The first word he ever spoke was photosynthesis. This is Boomba, the mutant cat. He can sniff out dogs at a distance of 30 light years. That makes him very valuable. Finally, there's Graham. She's 317. But she doesn't look a day over 240. Loving parents, Mark and Greta Clark, can't too worry because fortunately the Valiant has the latest in Starship Artificial Intelligence, P76. Now has everyone got a hank here? In time, decided to borrow Mum and Dad's Starship, the crew of the Valiant will become heroes. 
ship, the Valiant, to find their dog Hobart and to bring back the missing dog star. The captain of the mission is Glenn Clark. He's brave, he's 13, and he plays with a doll. It's not a doll, it's an action figurine. Can I help you find this Hobart? The alien stowaway on the ship is Gemma. She's handy with a rock, has a useful tail, and will eat almost anything. No, Gemma. Finally, the scent replacement parts. Oh, oh, silly prosthetic limbs. Here, Grandma, I'll get you a herbal tea. Possibly both. Loving parents Mark and Greta Clark are worried. Who wouldn't be? Heroes. Just get away from me or I'll take another bite. Come on.